Good evening. This um video is um regarding the health issue that I've been dealing with for a good while now. Um, it's gastritis. Um, a lot of time when I say gastritis, people think that I have a crazy gas problem, but that's not the case. Um, <laughs> well, what gastritis is? It's different gastritis. Um, I deal with chronic gastritis. Um, at first I thought it was acute gastritis where it can be treated uh, you will deal with it for a little while then once you get treated it'll go away that's what i thought i was dealing with but kind of find out no um i have chronic gastritis it didn't cause me to be out work for like mm, almost two months uh, looking for treatment you know thinking it was just acute but i saw a specialist and kind of find out that it's actually chronic gastritis um i'm trying to think the first time i noticed that i even had gastritis but um i know that the feeling the feeling was horrible like first of all let me explain okay acute gastritis that's like okay it'll you will deal with it and everything but like if you go see a specialist or whatever or not even a specialist if you go see a doctor you know a regular doctor there like the first time i had it come about i went to the emergency room they gave me some medicine that coated my stomach basically they put me on a diet where I couldn't eat any fried foods. I couldn't drink alcohol. I couldn't um, eat chips. I had to eat like basically I was on a diet. I had to eat only healthy foods, nothing that would like the grease of the food that would cause the inflammation. I had to basically be on a diet. Um, when I say they had it took me, I took something that coated my stomach. Like when I, when I took it, it literally felt like something cold was coating my stomach. It felt so good. When I went in there, when they gave me that, I instantly felt so good. And that was temporary. That's when it's acute. I have chronic gastritis. So what I deal with is this I'm going to be dealing with for the rest of my life. I have to make sure I take, um, you know, medicine if it occurs, when it occurs, um, to prevent it from occurring. I have to eat right, um, all of that. And you can look it up. And you will see the rest on it. I don't got to explain too much. Thank God for Google. Thank, thank God for YouTube. Everything. We can look everything up. So I don't have to waste too much time explaining the difference between acute and get, and uh, chronic gastritis. But yeah, so I deal with chronic gastritis. And when I say it's terrible, it's terrible. Um, It just can come out of nowhere at times. Even when I've been, you know, eating because you have to eat right, really. Because grease can cause it to flare. Alcohol, chips, um, anything with acid in it, anything that's not healthy. And you know it's bad foods it can cause your gastritis to flare um the way that i know it's flaring my stomach instantly be in so much pain when i say they write about it's like your stomach is inflamed that's what is really going on and when they say awareness is everything it is because some people got it and they don't either um they don't like going to the doctor they just you know probably take something simple and, and it'd be okay for their day but if you continue to have um gastritis and you looking over it or you just dealing with the pain or whatever your stomach can start bleeding the inside of your stomach wall line could start bleeding and that's when it's serious and i thank god that it didn't get that serious for me i'm not finna be irresponsible to let it get that serious um like i said i don't even ate healthy and i still have the problem that's i come like i now have chronic gastritis because i know it's not acute anymore it's something i'm be dealing with for the rest of my life so i gotta treat my body right so that I won't have to deal with the serious with it, with it getting serious, basically. Um, the first time it flared on me, um, I went to the ER, and like I said, they gave me some medicine that coated my stomach. Um, that felt so good temporarily, and that's when the ER lady told me that I had to see a specialist because she noticed now this. Yeah, but she was saying this was not just no normal gastritis; it was definitely chronic. But she wanted me to go to a specialist to be seen for them to prescribe me the right thing and all that um basically y'all when it start it's so painful like you don't want to talk to nobody you don't want to bother you i can't compare it to labor because it ain't the cramping you know but it it's the stomach it's like your stomach really inflamed and the grabbing it do it like it's just i cannot explain y'all but it's so bad um i ball up who um and like i said it even happens when i am eating right like if i'm if i haven't eaten anything and with me i don't have a huge appetite so i can really go i guess it's me being used to like my work schedule and stuff like that going hours and stuff like that without eating nothing and just like period i don't be needing to eat and eat and eat so when my stomach don't have much on it it flares this is come i got to keep a snack on my stomach or something and most of the time it'd be like celery you know a ranch like i like to dip my celery in ranch 
I mean, I dip it in ranch and I snack on it in between time because when I don't, it even will happen in my sleep, y'all. That's how crazy. If, if my stomach is empty in my sleep or just not empty, but close to empty, whatever you want to call it, it'll, it'll flare. Like I feel like this pain in my stomach and it'll feel like something rolling in my stomach and bringing everything to the top. Even if I don't have none on my stomach, it still feel like a little rumbling. Bring it all the way to the top, and the next thing you know, I'll, it'll, it'll cause me to gag and, and throw up. I'm talking about last time this happened, um, I was at the hospital with my husband, and I forgot what I was doing. I was helping them, uh, I was helping them do something with him or something, and next thing you know, I sat down because I felt it. Um, I felt my stomach rolling, and I noticed when it's finna, like I'm finna throw up. So I went in the bathroom in there and that's what happened. And um and even after it made me throw up, it still hurts. My um temporary cure for it has been Pepsi. Um, I don't know where oh, crazy. I take these. Like when it's flying, yeah, a lot of people say it don't work for them, but for me temporarily, especially if I don't I'm not around my medicine, which is really, you know, but I take Pepsi and it, and I promise you like within less than five minutes, five to 10 minutes, it's, it's back good. Um, I take, like when I go to work, I take, I, I, I already got two of these in the car. My husband had racked on, up on so many of these. I got two of these in the car. It's crazy. Just like having an asthma pump. I have to make sure I have these in case it flares up. It's crazy, but I thank God for them because there have been times I've been at work, um, driving my machine and it flare and i can't just get off my uh machine and go to the bathroom right quick so i get, grab me a pepsi take it and drink me some water and within five five minutes or so i'm back good temporarily but um and when i say temporarily i just mean it to it flare again because like i said it's something that i'm i'm gonna be dealing with for the rest of my life um everybody's situation could be different as far as the acute and chronic but the chronic is you know it's already the words, but it's like you got to take care of yourself because who want to sit around her and have their stomach lying and bleeding because they ain't doing right, they ain't eating right, they ain't taking their medicine, um, they doing something to make it worse, they um ignoring the signs, um, because anything happens my body, I go straight to Google. That's how um I figured it was acute. I mean, not acute. I'm sorry, chronic, because it's like. I wanted to go to the specials after I went to the ER, but then again, I was kind of nervous because I knew that it had to be more serious than just regular gastritis, you know, um, because it wouldn't stop coming back. Sorry, I had to answer a call. But yeah, um, as I was saying, um, it's, it's, it's very painful. It's really painful. Um, that's how I knew because it was constantly coming back. I wasn't going back to the ER. I was told to see a specialist. I really didn't want to because I really kind of knew in a way after I saw the ER lady and she told me that. But uh, yeah, y'all, like I said, it really hurts. Um, it, it's something that's, that doesn't go away. Not chronic. Um, got to take care of yourself. Um, I've seen uh, YouTube videos of how they healed gastritis, but I tried out it. It didn't work for me. Um, I still end up seeing my specialist and was told that I got chronic gastritis. I got to do this. I got to do that. Um, mostly I got to eat right, which ain't too hard because I know if I don't, I'm not trying to be bowed up and hurting like I do when they flare. When I say I hurt so bad, it's so unbearable. Um, just know that when you look it up, it, it is what it is. It causes your stomach to be inflamed. And until you take your medicine, it's going to keep feeling inflamed. Gastritis is nothing to play with. I just say, I don't, I honestly can't say what mine was caused from. I really can't. Um, I looked up everything on there and I couldn't. I could not put my finger on what it was called from at all. I just know it started to flare. I thought I was probably pregnant and I wasn't. So that's when I was like, nah, I got to go to the doctor because this keeps happening. Because I'm telling y'all, when when I say when it flares, it just feel like something is rolling up your stomach, rolling, just rolling and flipping and going up towards your, your chest and making you feel like you finna gag. And then you instantly get that nauseous feeling to make you want to just fall, just fall out. And it make you, you, will, you can faint from it. The feeling make you feel like you honestly finna fight. You too weak. When it happened at the hospital, I was too weak to even walk downstairs. So I had called my mom in law and asked her because she bring me my Pepsi from the house because I had left it. I wasn't thinking at that time. I really wasn't. Um, it's painful. <laughs> I promise you it's so painful. 
I just thank God for the fact that I didn't let it get carried away to the point where I ended up with my stomach bleeding out and it got much worse. Um, I can say if you got gastritis, just take care of yourself. Just just take care of yourself. That's really all you can do because once it's past the cue, it, that's really all you can do. Take your medicine. Take care of yourself. Um, I mean, I wouldn't say we messed up out here because we got to get straight because it's just all about taking care of ourselves. And sometimes we need to push to um, eat healthy just to be eating healthy. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going to lie. Like, it ain't helped me in that part majorly because I, I eat healthy now. And it's because I have no choice. But still, it's what my body needs anyway. But um, as far as anybody want to know about gastritis and just curious and wondering what the hell going on with their body if you dealing with what i just explained then you definitely got gastritis you need to see somebody because you don't want to be sitting there um throwing up blood it definitely can get to that point where you throwing up blood if you um constantly have the feeling i've been i told you i had been having when i found out when your stomach just feel like it's rolling and, and it's it's burning it's kind of like i will understand it's kind of like it really does feel like it's burning it feels so bad and even if you do it don't got nothing on your stomach it forces you to gag and throw up uh, like i said when i was at the hospital this last time when it happened i was having it going on there and then even after i took that medicine and i was driving home later on that evening i promise you i had to pull over just to throw up twice while heading home and my home was only maybe what six seven minutes from the hospital it it was yeah it's that but i just say take care of yourself i'm not gonna lie gastritis has forced me and helped me to eat healthy because if i don't it's gonna flare from greasy food bad food acid drinks but a lot of things can cause gastritis you can look on a google you can look on a youtube or whatever but i just say if you're out here dealing with gastritis like i am chronic in a way just take care of yourself because like i said it ain't helped me to get to eating healthy i like it i just know i ain't crazy enough to tell her and eat no bad foods and be up here with my stomach bleeding and, and throwing up blood because that would can happen um i just say you know it ain't bad you know it ain't bad it's a lot of things other people dealing with you know i'm just glad i got it under control um i do you know not like that i have to constantly deal with it whenever it flares but it flares you know i have my days where i'm like oh but i just you know take my pepsi and i'm good um but other than that, that's my um, life of dealing with gastritis. It ain't fun, but at least I know what's going on with me. I don't know what's to come with it, but I know that in the meantime, I'm taking care of myself. And it's that on it. Um, there ain't nothing else I can say about it. Self. Like I said, if you're dealing with it, take care of yourself. Do whatever you're supposed to be doing. If you ain't dealt with it and you know you're dealing with the symptoms out of nine, get your ass to the doctor and take care of yourself because... Nine out of ten, you're gonna let it get bad. You're gonna be bleeding out your stomach. I mean, your stomach line is gonna be bleeding. You end up throwing up blood, and they're gonna tell you that it's worse, and it's only gonna get worse. Um, I wanna say gastritis is a whole, and it make your life be on still. No, it's not here. We all need to be eating healthy, anyways. So, like I said, I'm not out here suffering from it. I was suffering from it, and when I'm having a flare, I'm suffering from it. But I have something that can help me in the meantime, just like anything else out here. When you sick or whatever you take this and you better and i'm one person that have never liked taking medicine but when my when i was sitting there and my son was inflamed and they told me that what i need i'm telling y'all that pain will make you take anything that pain i was like where the medicine at but anyways that's me and my situation of dealing with gastritis um you can look it up like i said on youtube or you can um google it um some may have family that deal with it and that's why you're interested in watching videos about gastritis you might be dealing with it yourself but all i gotta say is it's not the end of the world it's people out here that's dealing with worse all we gotta do is take medicine and eat right and we good um if you have a different story than mine that's your world it's your life take care of yourself and don't think it's too much to deal with because it's not um one way or the other we must have not been taking care of our body in the right way uh for it to flare i'm not sure it's so many causes to it um, I saw one part where it can be alcohol, it can be eating b bad foods, it can be um, stress. Gastritis can be flared from a lot of reasons, but thank God if you stopped that acute and you got healed and you're better now. But if you're like me and you got um, chronic gastritis, then just keep taking care of yourself. It don't stop my life. It don't really affect my life until it flares. Um, 
Because when it flares, I'm a big baby. I, I don't really want to talk. I just want to ball up. I just want to take their medicine until it goes away, until the, the feeling goes away. I don't want to be bothered. Don't talk to me. Don't have a conversation with me or nothing. But um, anyways, and as y'all can see, I had to do this video in my bathroom because I have kids, and especially my three-year-old. Well, he's going to be three. Um, he'll come knocking at my door saying, open the door, open the door, or whatever. But this is my bathroom to my room. So I got this door closed and my room door closed. And I'm doing a video in here in case he come in there. But um y'all it's um it's been good letting um anybody need to know about what gastritis is or whatever. Um yeah, so if you need to know anything else, if you got questions about it, just look it up on YouTube like you did this video, Google it, it'll tell you everything you need to know. It's just all about taking care of yourself. But in the meantime, I'll see y'all in the next video and please take care of yourself. Later.